So where has everybody gone from the old neighborhood? You know, the place that I grew up in many years ago, that on every summer night that I can remember during my youth, I would walk from yard to yard to yard. And all you would see were those candles burning, those grills going, the smell of hamburgers and hot dogs. And yes, someone would offer me an ice cold RC cola while the parents were enjoying a ice cold 16 ounce Iron City beer. But the common denominator between all of those houses between what I just mentioned was the sound. The Gunner, Nellie King, Lanny for Terry, your Pittsburgh Pirates. And years later, when I was hired at KDK Radio in 1985, and I spent 10 years doing a show called Pirate Sunday, it was a dream come true. And you know, I was really fortunate through those years to interview some of the game's greats, but it were those hometown heroes that really made a difference to me. And one of them was a guy who starred on the Sandlots of Oakmont, Pennsylvania, a first baseman for your Pittsburgh Pirates in 1952. And yes, he played in the bigs until 1963, but he is more known for, here comes Tony Bartirome, the trainer of your Pittsburgh Pirates. I absolutely loved this guy, a folk hero, a true Pittsburgher, a yinzer, and yes, one of us. And when he would come out onto the field and you would hear Bob Prince or any of the men that I just mentioned say, here comes Tony Bartirome, it was, hey, he's from our neighborhood, Pittsburgh. Yeah, I loved him. And many times he would join me on the radio, so gracious to talk about whatever. He ended up also spending time with Atlanta, but he will always be one of us. The kid from the Sandlot in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, who ended up playing in 1952 for his hometown team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. You know, Greg Diolis, who is a huge baseball fan, we'll talk about Tony Bartirome tomorrow. Greg has had a love of dreaming to be an umpire his whole life. I still think he would, well, hit the minor leagues and jump on a bus and disappear for a summer if he had a chance to call balls and strikes. He talks about growing up in Oakland and that dream. Look, for a lot of us, when we were playing baseball wherever it was, and it was the same for me in Gulbranson Heights, whenever you stepped up to the plate, you were, well, trying to imitate your heroes, people like Willie Stargell, Roberto Clemente, Bill Mazeroski, yeah, Richie Hebner. I mean, guys that were just such a part of our lives. Bob Robertson, Manny Sandy, and Dave Parker. But Tony Bartirome, he made that dream become a reality. And I can only imagine what it felt like when the PA announcer at Forbes Field said, now batting for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Tony Bartirome, how proud his family must have been. Well, I'm proud to call him friend, and I was saddened to hear today of his passing. But know this, Tony Bartirome, you will always be etched in my mind as the guy who played for his hometown team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Thoughts and prayers go out to his family. And if you're watching this, know this, he was not just a good man, he was a good friend to people like me, just that guy on the radio. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Good night from the Pratt Pack Gym.